little pile we're working with right now but I guarantee it'll get bigger as the tide goes like down because it'll bring more in and it'll expose more so I wasn't able to show that sand dollar it just wasn't focusing at all little cowrie shell there oh there's something different a sea glass piece never usually find much of it at all if you guys are like common watchers of the videos you'll know I never ever find much sea glass at all so it's nice to grab it sometimes a couple of these little uh, scallop shells pretty cool they're everywhere here got a pheasant shell nice I see a lot of bean cowries probably not going to show too many bean cowries and sand dollars today they're pretty boring shells and they're just everywhere here look at that one what the heck never seen one like that before that's pretty cool very interesting never seen that before ah uh, little crab fella it's a shame what else do we got I've been really looking forward to micro shelling lately I've been really enjoying it got a sand dollar there still gonna take the sand dollars trying to fill up my little box what else do we have? This is a really generous pile right here. I like it. What do we got here? What do we see? Little turbo shell. Pretty cool. Nice size. Okay, what else do we have? A little moon snail. Awesome. Another pheasant shell. Oh, hold on. We got a Wenzel trap. Do you see it? It's tiny. Holy moly. I was just looking at that bean carry and sand dollar, and then I saw the uh, Wenzel trap. Awesome. It's one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. That's sweet. Look at that. See that tiny, tiny bubble shell? Now that's a micro shell. Oh, it's a bit broken, is it? Super thin. Oh my goodness. There's another Wenzel trap, but look at the size of it. That's the smallest one I've ever seen. Definitely gonna grab that up. Show you guys that bubble shell there. Look at that. Holy cow. That thing is tiny as. My goodness, Wenzel traps galore today. That is so cool. Can't believe it. Two little Wenzel traps. What brought my attention to that second Wenzel trap was this, uh, bean cowrie here that's really round really nice one what else do we got that's pretty unique no idea what that is it's pretty different that's a nice uh, limpet shell be cool got a big mitre there or mitra big one actually Doing pretty well so far. Let me show you guys the beach. We'll stay in this little area here. It's really flat out today. Not too many waves for high tide. All right, cool. Let's keep showing. I can't believe that, two wintel traps. Oh, is that a juvenile cowrie? Sure is. Not sure hmm, what type of uh, juvenile cowrie it would be. If I had to guess, maybe a cherry, because it's orange. Hard to tell. Okay. I see a pheasant shell, or I did see one. There's a worm shell there. Pretty cool. Where else do we have some goodies? Red coral. There's a bean. There's another pheasant shell. Hold on, there's a worm shell. I like when they're like collapsed into each other or itself. I think that's cool. There's a pheasant. Nice one. Red one. I like the red ones. Is that a nutmeg or something? No, a triton piece. What do we have here? Not too much there. Keep moving up a little bit. Got a nice pile right there. The tide's dropping, so it should leave a little bit more here and there. But let's get straight into it. 
I've been really excited to come micro shelling again. Haven't been in quite a few days. So let's check it out. First shell of the day. Little uh, lion's paw scallop right there. Very cool, I like those. That one's really rounded as well. What do we got today? Hoping to find, ooh, what will the best shell find be today? I reckon it's gonna be a carrier today, but I reckon it's gonna be a big boy. Big boy carrier. Let's check it out at the top here. So it's about 1.5 meter tide height right now, and it is dropping. So hopefully that will leave me some more goodies. First sand dollar of the day. Focus, please. It's that tiny, it's hard to focus. Really into the slipper shells lately as well. This one's huge. See the slipper? It's kind of like a uh, shoe. I think it's really cool. They're everywhere in Florida. I really like them. They don't really get much bigger than this one. I'd say this one's the biggest I've ever found. So that's nice. Coming up to the bigger pile here now. Definitely gonna find some cool stuff in there, I reckon. What about here though? What do we got? Not too much in there. There's a bean, there's two beans actually. So many beans around here lately as well. Sometimes I can go months without finding any and then just out of the blue I'll find. Oh, another winter trap. Wow. So we've got three winter traps so far and we've only been here for about, oh, I don't even know, five minutes. 10 minutes if that tiny wendell trap definitely the biggest one so far though oh there's a bean take the bean look at this topper shell these ones are everywhere usually alive though pretty cool I'm trying to show you guys more shells that i wouldn't usually keep because they're common to me but for you guys they might not be so common slipper shell yeah, it's kind of broken though. Little cowrie shells. We get so many different cowries here. There's like hundreds of different ones. Giant bean carry. Oh my goodness, two giant bean carries. Look at that one. Awesome. That's about as big as they get, honestly. Nice. Excuse me, stick. There's another slipper, no, is it? Uh, I think it is, but it's kind of broken on the inside. Three wental traps so far, that's pretty cool. I can hear all the shell piles reveling up behind me in the water. Red Mitra, it's like the third one of those so far. Sand Dollar, yeah, I'll keep that one. Lots of red coral in this bunch. Uh, cherry carry here. That's a real shame. Hurts to see. We got oh, we got another. What is it? Um, it's like a, the crushed worm shell. I like those. I think they're very interesting. No idea what their actual name is. So if you guys know, comment down below. Oh, that's a cool barnacle. I love the pink barnacles. I think they're cool. What else do we got? Take a look around, guys. Comment down below if I miss anything. Like a wental trap or a grape cowrie, anything that you like. Comment down below. We did miss a cowrie here, actually. Just a common cowrie. Pile's not started over there yet. They'll come in soon. Let's see what we've got so far. One wental trap. It's gonna be hard to find those other ones because they're so tiny. They'll be in there somewhere. A couple of big cowries here. Like this one, that's a blue cowrie, I believe. Pretty nice. I got another cowrie here. Ah, nice. Got some more piles along this way. Let me find a good amount. And we can stop for a sec. Here's a little barnacle. Nice. Oh, a big pheasant shell. See that right there? Sweet. 
That's the best one so far, I reckon. What is that, though? No idea. Baby snail shell or something? Couple more pheasants in here. Nice one. Focus, there we go. What else do we got? Oh, I missed a bean, hold on. Can't leave the beans. Okay, I'm gonna sit down right here and we can go through this pile together. It's wild, a bit wacky. Broken deer, that's a shame. A couple of old cowries in there maybe. Sea sponge. A bunch here and there's actually a lot of limpets, just like this one here. Nice. So that's the first limpet. Spot another one in there. Wow, look at that. Remember guys, the smaller the limpets are, the better color and condition they are. There's one. There's a bigger one. Still haven't found a carrier shell yet. Sure one will show up soon. Here's one we don't usually look at, snail shells. These ones are everywhere on the beach. Usually alive. A nice little pile here. What do we got? Hey, a uh, bubble shell. Micro bubble right in the center. They're nice. They're extremely thin. Like, I can see straight through that. Pretty hard to find. Okay. Here's one of those uh, neater rich animal shells or something like that. I just get confused on them. Sea sponge, oh! Oh, these juveniles are always broken. These ones are hard to find. It's a shame. That's a margin cowrie. Yes. That's the best one I've ever seen. They don't usually get much bigger than like that big. And they usually only have like pink slash purple ends of the cowrie. But that one is purple all along. I've just been collecting a lot of red coral as you can see. Uh, the whole box is pretty much starting to fill up with it. It's pretty fun honestly. There's just hundreds of bits everywhere. Like watch, one, two, they may be small, but it adds up, three, four. Some of them get pretty big, like once you start getting those chunks, it fills up real fast. Yeah, I'm just starting to collect them while the tide drops back because there's a massive pile in there full of micro shells that might be good. Been collecting the old red coral just like the old days. So, this is just in like two minutes three or maybe two or three minutes. Three, four, five. I won't film much of this, it's probably boring for you guys. Let's get this last little pile here and then we'll move on to some more shells. There's a little bit. It's just so much of it everywhere. Look at that. Crazy. Yeah, there's a massive pile of shells. Awesome. It's just about low enough to be able to look through here without being smashed by the waves. See, look at that. That's awesome. Beauty. It's super freezing though. Lucky it's not higher. Yes, push them up. How nice is that? That's so nice. A super nice big pile here. Mainly bigger shells as well, look at that. Holy moly. 
That's incredible. That is huge. They look like all bigger shells, so it could be good. Wow. I need a uh, big net, like a filter system to get in here. Just gotta wait for the waves. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Oh, yes. Nice. Little scallop shell. I'll take that. Here is everything that we found. We found a ton of red coral, as you can see. Got a massive mountain of it there. Pretty big, actually. Definitely the most I've ever found in one session. Got a really nice amount of uh, bean cowries here. Got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least 20 there. That's pretty nice. Uh, what were the other ones? We got three little wentil traps, absolutely tiny. That's my finger next to them. They are super, super small. That one's probably the smallest one I've ever found. What else did we get? We got a beautiful margin cowry. Pretty hard to find these ones, and that's definitely one of the best ever, if not the best. That will be going into the cabinet. Very cool. What else did we get? We got something pretty different here. No idea what sort of shell it is. If you guys know, comment down below. What else did we get? Some DNA coral. Juvenile uh, cherry, I think it is. Couple of slipper shells. Starting to really get into the slipper shells. And a couple of limpets. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below. Have an awesome day.